Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Siobhan. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. So today I'm sharing with you how I'm meal planning for this week. So these are some of the previous meal plan sheets that I use. I usually take them out for reference as I am planning. And I also use this meal idea list that I have in my current planner, which is a Stylogy notebook. I have a list of breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack ideas. These are things that I can refer to if I'm kind of like in a jam and I need to just think of some meals and I don't even know what to do. So the notepad that I'm using to meal plan on is a cloth and paper weekly pad. I've been using this to meal plan ever since I got it because I didn't really need it as a planner because I already utilized my Stylogy or whatever planner I was using at the time. So I love using this notepad because it's open. I can rip the sheets off. I put the sheets in the kitchen so everyone can see it. And I just like how I can just tear off the page. I think that's the most, that's my favorite part about using it. I'm not sure if it's available, but you can check out Cloth and Paper's website. So I usually start off by putting the, the week. I like to refer the weeks on the paper because let's say I'm looking for inspiration from previous week. I don't want to take inspiration from the one that I just used the week before. I kind of like to spread them out. So this is kind of like my process. So there is a line on here that has, it, it lists priorities, but I don't really use that section for priorities. I just kind of write down a few things that I need to get at the supermarket. My top three things this week were eggs, fruits, and grilled chicken. Because for this week... Most of the snack that we're going to have are fruits. I have fruits here already in the house. And I want to incorporate that into this week's meal planning so they don't go to waste. So before I do any type of meal planning, I do have an idea of what's already in the pantry and in the refrigerator. So I, I'm not overbuying. That's just my process. And I already made my grocery list on peapod.com. And I have my groceries that are going to be delivered today for the remaining items that I need. So Sunday's Halloween, so I'm putting down this little cute pumpkin here. It's from the Happy Planner sticker book. So I like to write out B, L, D, and S, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. This way I can have, I can know what line to write, write each item. And it's just a lot easier when I'm looking at it. So a lot of the meals here are kind of, um, I would say easy and also um, they're specific to the foods that we like to eat. We are Jamaican, so we do like um, Jamaican dishes throughout the week. And the lunch on this list is primarily for my daughter's lunch. I eat basically whatever I feel like eating for the day when I'm working from home. So I never really plan out my own meals because my <laughs> meals is basically up to my how I'm feeling. So for Tuesday, um, for lunch, she's going to have crackers, pepperoni, and cucumber salad. And these are just kind of mixing things up so we don't get bored of eating the same thing. And for dinner, we're going to have rice with corned beef. I have cabbage that was cooked and frozen, so I'm going to heat those up when we're going to have that. And also corn on the side so for wednesday is a day that i'm not cooking breakfast so it's going to be the kids responsibility to make their own so i usually put like cereal with milk or bagel with cream cheese or if we're doing muffins one week i may do you can have muffins with tea or hot cocoa something that they can do on their own that is can make them self-sufficient so for dinner on wednesday it's actually cornmeal but i don't know why i wrote this tea like that so it's cornmeal porridge this is a staple in our house and we eat it with crackers or bread. And being that we're going to have a big pot of it Thursday morning's breakfast is also going to be cornmeal. And lunch, they're going to have turkey sandwich bites. When I put like turkey sandwich bites, it basically means how I cut the sandwich. I cut them into cute little shapes. I have the little cutters or I just slice them into the cute little triangles. Um, so dinner for Thursday is shrimp fried rice and I wrote Tuesday's rice. So the rice that I'm making for Tuesday, I know to make a bigger pot. So the leftover rice can be used on Thursday for shrimp fried rice. So Friday is going to be a little bit of kind of everyone make a smoothie. We're going to have toast with butter if they want, fruit smoothie. 
And for lunch, it's going to be chicken wrap with grapes, cheese nibs. I try to spread out the fruit so it's not the same fruit every day. But we just need to use up what we have currently in order for it to not go bad. So Saturday is usually when I do make a little bit more to eat or less. There's really no in-between. Either I make a full spread of breakfast or I don't make breakfast and the kids basically make something on their own. So Saturday we're going to have pizza for lunch. If they want to eat lunch, there's DiGiorno pizza in the freezer. For dinner, I put to be determined because I don't know yet. I want to wait till we get closer. And Sunday, because it's Halloween, I have to think about all the festivities that's going to be happening. The kids are going to be outside. So we made us order pizza and just have that for dinner, which will be easier than anyone cooking. And for snack, I put candy for Sunday because it's Halloween. So what other snack do you eat on Halloween? So this is the meal plan for the week. Um, I'm going to put this take the sheet out and I leave it on the kitchen counter I have a little spot that I put it and I basically you know you just rip them off as you go so one thing I wanted to share with you before I made this meal plan I did like a rough draft when I was thinking to show you the process of how I did it I don't just think of these things in my head I do a little bit of a rough draft before I actually write it on a good paper. So this is my meal plan for the week. I hope you enjoyed it.